Hey guys, what is up, man? How you guys doing? Enjoying Red Dead, I hope. And in this video, we're going to talk about some of the fastest ways to make money right at the start of the game. But before I get into that, man, if you enjoy this type of content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I make guided tip videos all the time. And by hitting that sub button, it'll ensure you don't miss the next video. So now that that's out of the way, yo, let's get right into it. So everyone wants to make money in Red Dead Online. Like that's always the goal. You want all the money and all the XP. And making money can be a grind at times. But there are some things that you can do that you can speed up that process just a little bit. And now these are money making ways outside of the general just doing the missions because missions will give you a lot of money and a lot of XP. So you want to make sure you're doing those. But this is outside of those. What can you do in a free roam that's going to make you some money? Well, right at the start of the game, the number one thing you can do is hunting. And hunting is going to make you a lot of money. You want to focus on looking for three star animals. Shoot those animals. Get the pelt. You can um, take the meat because you might need it for yourself to eat. Or you could take that meat, sell it to the butcher. Or you could sell the pelts as well to get you some sort of money. And depending on the animals that you go after, you'll be able to get some larger sums. But three star animals are always going to be your best bet because they're going to pay the most. There we go. Just going to walk right in my way, huh, buddy? Okay, so this will be a bad shot because I got kind of his shoulder. And even if I hit him, he start bleeding. Uh, I might have to put another bullet in him. It's going to drop the pelt level. So you want to make sure you have the perfect shot when you're hunting. Make sure you have all head shots. Like I said, this is a bad shot. So I'm going to try to get around and get a better shot. Because I want to hit it right in the head and drop him just once. These guys are going to kind of always kind of get in your way. So you got to maneuver around and make sure you're hitting the right horse. That, the right, I mean, sorry, the right deer that you want. Boom, kept it a three star. I'll take it whole. I can sell it whole and get money for it. I can skin it and get money for it. Either way, three star animals are going to give you a good amount of money starting out. Now, outside of hunting, the rolls are going to be the fastest way for you to make money. Um, and I'm talking about the collector roll, the trader roll, the naturalist roll, and the moon channel roll. The collector roll in particular, because you can find collectibles all over the map, there is a map that you can use that you can find collectibles in real time. And there's kind of a glitch that you can do with collectibles as well. Um, but this is a, a location that always pretty much spawns a collectible. It's an Emerald Ranch. Let me show you on the map. So Emerald Station is right here. You come right down here. And it's right in here. This house right there. Now this house often spawns a collectible. And sometimes it spawns two and three collectibles. Now you can go in here, grab the collectibles, hop out, go into another session, and then come back in and the collectibles will respawn in. You can collect them all again. But you can only do that once on PlayStation. Now on Xbox, I think you do it a couple of times. On PC, I think you do it a number, number of times. But you can only do the glitch really once on PlayStation. So you want to make sure that you found a spot that's got a number of collectibles in it. That you can get the collectibles, hop out, get into another session, and then come back in and then grab those collectibles again. But again, you got to remember, you're going to do it once a day. So now this chimney always has a collectible. And then there's a tarot card in here. And then sometimes there's a tarot card in this drawer, in this cabinet. Or if you go upstairs, there's sometimes some in here or on this shelf. But this house normally has a number of collectibles you can get and again that chimney always has a collectible so if you're going to do the glitch it's really come in here grab the collectibles hop into another session come back in they'll respawn but again it only happens once every 24 hours so you really should check the the collect the roll map um and i'll put that link in the, in the description you can check that map and find out what location has um the most collectibles around them and then do the glitch on that location but if you're just in Emerald Station, always check the station again. This house is good um, for collectibles. And it's also a, a gang hideout. So you may run into some gang members and you can come here and kill all of them and go and loot them. And they may have some collectibles as well. But that is another way to get money. Utilizing the collector role because you can get those collectibles over and over and over again. Sell them to Madame Rosario. She pays you a pretty penny for those collectibles. Now, another really easy and quick way to make money is with the naturalist role. While you're doing a naturalist role, you cannot hunt and kill an animal. You have to sedate them all. If you hunt and kill, then Harry will pepper spray you and you will not be able to get anything from her, especially any money. But when you're sedating animals, you want to go after large animals. And you want to either go 
to Blackwater where the bison spawn, or you want to come here in Emerald Station, the bison spawn right around here, and then sometime they spawn over here. But these are pretty much the two spots that the bison spawn in. Now, you get your vermin rifle, you see it has sedative bullets, and those are the ones with low parts as sedative. So you know that when you start shooting the animals, it's going to fill them with the sedative bullets, and then they'll pass out. You can get the sample, and then you can sell those samples here. Now, in the beginning, you can only hold five samples until you level up, and then you'll be able to hold ten. But once you hold five, then you go get another large animal like an elk, get five of those, and you go back and sell them to Harriet. And you pretty much get like $24 for um, bison sample and I think $25 for elk samples. So it's pretty easy to get bison, especially in this area and in Black Order because they frequently spawn in these areas. So you can come, get five, max out, hop over to um, McFarland's Ranch, go to Harriet, sell them, bounce back and rinse and repeat and just make that money now another easy and fun way to make money is the bounty hunter role again you may not know but getting bounties is actually really really easy especially if you go into the single targets and that guy's going to get money now you're going to have to kill all them to bring them all in dead to be able to get that double money and then that triple money again see half that gang is already done so you just got to get that one person boom bang pow and you're good so when you're starting out though you want to focus on one bounty because it's easier to catch one than you know five or six because you're not going to have the bounty hunter on a wagon starting out and you want to bring them in alive because you get the most money for them alive than you do dead then you get to the point where you can do legendary bounties there's a couple of glitches, glitches that you can do with the legendary bounties that will bring you even more money but that's a video for another day but you want to focus on just going after one person make sure that um you're doing your best to bring him in alive i have a bounty hunter video that show you exactly how to bring him in alive but the bounty hunter role is another great way to make money and it's a lot of fun so you don't feel like it's a grind while you while you're making money also taking advantage of the daily challenges man that gives you a, a goal and then once you have a multiplier and you've done it for seven days it when you have a streak it'll give you gold on top of a hundred dollars so you want to make sure you're doing your daily challenges and a lot of those challenges you'll be doing just by playing the game and doing the natural things that you do um and not even notice that you're completing those challenges so you just want to make sure that once you get the streak started you keep it going um so you can get that goal and then again you'll get that hundred dollars so this actually is a really quick and easy way to get money especially at the beginning of the game because you won't really it's not much that you need to do other than completing the challenges and the challenges are really really easy and even if you don't have any of the roles you could just stick with the general and that's seven so it's all simple stuff man boom so you don't necessarily have to have the roles to be able to complete complete the daily challenges in order to get that hundred dollars after seven days but if you do have the roles while you're doing the roles you'll be completing those challenges and it'll, it'll be so fast so that's really it man i want to give you a quick couple few ways that you can make some money in red Dead online and make it pretty quickly also wanted to give you a couple of tips that dispel a lot of a lot of rumors about making money no robbing people does not make a lot of money my robbing people you may get an actually may get a nickel off of a person that you rob so robbing individuals does not bring you uh, a lot of money now looting bodies after you completed a free roam mission and there's a you know you didn't you've done a gang hideout and there are multiple bodies there that will you can get some money that way but just robbing like like that guy random people on the highway doesn't really bring you any, a lot of money if anything um at that so no robbing people does not uh bring you bring you money also robbing trays does not bring you money fast like so you have to find the train that has actually a safe on it cuz all the trains don't really have money on them so you get on the train think hey I'm going to rob the conductor and get this money and there's absolutely nothing on the train <laughs> And you waste your time. So you want to make sure that you're robbing. If you're going to rob a train, you're actually robbing the right train that has um, a safe so you can blow safe, get the money. <laughs> and most importantly, robbing banks. Now, robbing banks sounds easy. It sounds fun. But it is a lot harder to get in and get out with the money um, than you may think. Um, especially for newer players, you really won't have the gear or the equipment needed to be able to blow a safe, get in there, get the money, and get out unscathed. So I would hold off on robbing a bank until you're a higher level and you can get in and get out with the money. Other than that, you can be wasting your time by dying and getting thrown in jail. Like that's, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. So like I said, that's it for this one, man. Any veteran players that have any other tips that I may have left off? I know I left off a couple of them. 
Um, so any veteran players that have those tips, go ahead and drop them in the comment section so we can help all the new players get acclimated with the game and get to the best spot start that they possibly can. But yeah, man, other than that, that is it for this video, man. I hope it was helpful in some way, shape, or form. And if it was, man, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button because I make guided tip videos all the time. And by hitting the subscribe button, it'll ensure you don't miss the next video. So, yeah, that's it, man. Make that money, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Hey, Outlaws, if you enjoyed that video, then check out this next video. That's more Red Dead Online content.